everybody. Um, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about your pull-up. Um, we know for some of you this is a pretty difficult uh, movement to do, exercise to do, strengthening skill to do. And so I want to break down a couple of things to help you get your first couple of pull-ups. Um, mainly, we want to look about a way you can progress without having somebody there to assist you. Um, the best way to progress is if someone is there to assist you and helps you lightly pressing you up, kind of like a light spot, to help you go up into your pull-up. Um, but if you don't have that, uh, like most of us don't, um, there's a couple things you can do, okay? First thing you can do is try to just do chin holds, okay? Now a chin hold doesn't mean you actually, you're not actually resting your chin on the bar. It means you're resting your chin above the bar trying to pull and pulling the bar in tight to your body. So for example, a chin hold would be this. Okay, now if I'm doing an under grip uh, first here, okay, I would just hold myself just high enough and hold myself tight to the bar as best that I can. Some people find it a little easier to have your knees up, okay, because it brings your weight to the front of the body, and brings, sorry, brings your weight to the front of the bar instead of it being behind you and you kind of swing it around. Now, of course, you're going to switch that to over grip, so you're like this, and then chest up. Okay, and it's important not to have your chin resting on the bar because you don't want to, you know, just straining to have your chin up there um, unless you're doing some kind of aerial acrobatic thing when you have a strap around your neck, okay? It's really not necessary because we're just trying to build and concentrate in the shoulder area. Um, the other thing, okay, if you are, once you start to get a uh, good chin hold, then you want to bring it to a higher bar do a jumping chin hold, and then start doing slow negatives, okay? So, okay. I grab a hold, I'm gonna jump up from the floor, and then I'm going to pull myself up, and then do a slow negative. I'll do it facing you. So let's start with, usually, when you're first starting out, you're gonna be doing an under grip, okay? Here and here, and jump up, and hold it, and then do a slow, Now, I usually say five to eight seconds is pretty good for a slow negative, okay? And that's like one, two, three, four, five. And that would count as one, all right? Um, so doing a jumping pull up and then a slow negative will be very, very beneficial for you to start. After you start to get, uh, at, well, pretty much if you're at that stage in it, then, uh, you, once you get past those, you'll start to be able to get your pull up pretty soon if you're already doing holding static ones and doing really slow negatives. That's a pretty good indicator that you're really close to getting a nice, solid single pull up. If we're not even quite there yet, we're going to have to use some kind of assistance to hold your legs up and that way you don't feel like you're going to fall um, or just not go anywhere. So for example, if we use a block in the gym to help us out or you can use a chair, um, you can have a a friend hold on to your foot or something like that too. All right, but let's just see what that looks like real quick. So I'm gonna use this block right here, okay? Now you wanna have whatever is assisting you to be directly underneath you. You don't want it really far in front of you, don't want it really far behind you. You want it directly underneath you because that's where gravity's going, okay? You're not being pulled that way, you're not being pulled that way, so directly underneath you is gonna be better for your overall pull-up. So first of all, what you gotta think here is use as little assistance as possible. So if you just put your feet up on top of this and start pulling, and um, you're just pushing with your legs the whole time, that's not really gonna help you get a pull up, okay? You should be struggling to get these. It should be difficult. So if I go for an under grip, one, two here. Okay, I put my feet up on here, and I go into a dead hang. Dead hang means literally all my weight is in my arms that can be in my arms for what I'm doing. My feet are up here, okay? But I'm not gonna push it down. I'm just gonna pull with my arms, and my feet are resting up there. So some of the weight of my body is resting on something else, so it takes a little bit of weight off my arms, and I'm able to complete the full range of motion. All right? To make this a little bit more difficult, you can take one leg, okay? So now you're dead hanging with half the, with like two times more of the weight, and back down again, okay? Again, you wanna get close to about three to five of these, and these should be pretty difficult. So if you're like shaking while doing these, good indicator that they're pretty difficult. 
some things we don't want you to do. All right, one of them is we don't want you to thrust your hips up, okay? So if you're like this and you're doing this and you're pushing the hips up like that, that's pretty much not gonna get you a pull up, okay? It might strengthen your, your back and your glutes a little bit, maybe your hamstrings, but it's not gonna get you that pull up that you want, all right? We wanna make sure that we are going straight up and down. We're not doing some weird thing with our body like that, straight body rows or anything, okay? Those, like I said, those have a purpose. The purpose is not so much for developing that strength for the pull up, more or less for stability in the shoulders. Um, so there you have it, right? I think that's some great things to start with. You have your jumping progression, you have your static progression, you have your negative progression, and then you have your assistance progression, all right? Try to get to three to five of them. You should be able to do about, uh, if you're thinking textbook terms right now, you should be able to do six sets, okay? Three to five of them without fatigue before moving on to the next one. Or if you just feel like it, go ahead and try and jump to the next one and see what happens. Uh, that starting strength can come pretty fast for some people, all right? Um, that's it. That's all I got for you right now. Good luck on your pull-ups, and hopefully I'll see you next time training. Have a nice day.